Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, November 11th, 2019, and these are your snowy announcements. What? Check it out, guys. Snowing, it is snowing, it is snowing. It is snowing. Yeah, it's snowing, guys. Hip, hip, hooray. Frickin' fracking. But it is what it is. It's Wisconsin. If I wait five minutes, it's gonna change. So, I'm on my way to work. As you can see, I'm wearing my Guitars for Vets hat today. Guitars for Vets. Check them out. Just Google search Guitars for Vets. Um, they're having an event at Best Place today and they are an extremely important organization. And if you're looking, I know a lot of people at this time of the year, they look for good organizations to donate money to um, as kind of a charitable donation, Christmas gift kind of thing. You know, a lot of people will give money to an organization in the name of their family or in the name of a loved one or whatever. If you're looking for an organization to donate to this year, I suggest so highly that you think of Guitars for Vets. Um, Guitars for Vets matches up veterans with PTSD with guitars. And they not only give the vets a guitar, but they also give the vet free lessons. And in doing that, Thousands of veterans across the United States have not committed suicide because through music they are expressing their emotions, expressing the, the, the stuff that's deep inside them that is haunting them, and uh, they're recovering through music, the power of music. So if you uh, are feeling charitable if you have the opportunity to do that I know not all of us do but Guitars for Vet is an extremely good organization and there's probably a chapter in your city if you're living in a in a decent sized city um, I think there's a chapter in every state so and if there's not a chapter they'll help you set up a chapter so please contact them if you're interested and if you play guitar and you are interested in helping a vet learn how to play guitar, contact them. It, it, it saves life. It's a, such a, it seems like such a small thing, but if you've got, if you've been gifted with that talent, the talent to be able to play, and you wanna share your talent with someone, please do. Do it for a vet. These people, I, I just, you don't even know how much I, uh, how much I admire and feel grateful for our service men and women here in the United States of America. They are asked to do things that I would never be able to do. You know, they do the thing I can't do and protect our freedoms. We are so lucky here in the United States. I know we're kind of in a culture of complaining right now, but here in the United States, there's like no way we'd ever have the ability to complain, to have the freedom to complain, to have the freedom, to f the freedoms that, that we have if it weren't for our vets. So if you are a veteran, thank you so much for your service from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. And um, if you ever need prayer, contact me. My email is dollywolf27. That's D is in David, A is in Adam, L is in Lima, I is in Indigo, L is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. D is in David, A is in Adam, L is in Lima, I is in Indigo, W is in watermelon. Waterloo, isn't it Waterloo? Uh, o is an Oscar, L is in Lima, F is in Frank, 
dollywolf27 at gmail.com. dollywolf27 at gmail.com. Send me an email and I will pray for you. And I will continue praying for you until you tell me that you don't need prayer anymore. I would be happy to do that. Um, what else is going on? Okay, so we had our 10th anniversary party yesterday at Best Place. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. The Squeezettes played. If you don't know who the Squeezettes are, look them up on YouTube. Uh, the Squeezettes are a band, a polka band, that mix polkas with modern day music and create this kind of mass mashup and it is fantastic. I'm going to try to do a little video later on and I'll show you guys a little bit of, of what they do. But they are so much fun. The Squeezettes, look them up. They're great. They're a lot of fun. And um, they were there. There was a ton of food. Gingers. A uh, bar and grill here in Milwaukee. Did the did the did some of the food for it. It was all oh, so good. And I got through the day without drinking, which is amazing. So all of you guys who were praying for me, thank you so much. I'm losing my voice. Can you hear that? Blah. Um, I, I did make it through the day without drinking. I am so appreciative for all your prayers and God had my back. So I got through it. I didn't even have like a, 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 a twitch of, hey, I wish I could have a beer. I didn't even have that. So that just goes to show how faithful God is when surrender when you surrender your struggles to him and put it in his hands and don't take it back so I'm uh, I'm very I'm very humbled by this honestly it's just wow unbelievable I did not however have the same kind of uh, the same kind of strength when facing food yesterday. Although I didn't do terrible. I didn't do terrible. I only had two hot dogs without any buns and some corn chips. That's it, you know. But, uh, and I walked like 17,000 steps. It's like six miles. I walked six miles at work yesterday. So I'm sure I work, worked a lot of it off, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, there was a beer stein holding contest they filled a big stein it's not a little stein a big stein like a big german stein uh full of beer and chrissy went and <laughs> actually entered in the contest and she didn't do terrible she wasn't the first one down i think she was the fifth one down out of 14 um but out of the girls, she was, the I think, the last girl standing up there. So, I mean, she, like, she did really good. I was proud of her. And um, there was just all kinds of fun. Then we watched the Packer game, and the Packers won. So that was exciting. That's why my voice is gone, because I was cheering for the whole game. And it was. It was really, really a good time. So we had that yesterday. I got Guitars for Vets today. I got an event, a corporate event tomorrow on Tuesday. We have another one on Wednesday. And I think I don't have anything on Thursday. And I think that that day I'm probably going to take off and just have a day to myself. And then go back in on Friday to set up weddings and other stuff. So... Woo! Yeah, we're in a busy time of the year, which is okay, because after the after New Year's, things slow down considerably. There's not a lot of people who get married in the winter. Well, I think we, I think throughout the winter we still have at least one wedding a weekend. I think there's a couple weeks in there where we don't, but then we also have other events happening, so. It's uh, it's not going to be a totally dead winter. I mean, when I first started working at Best Place five years ago, there were times where we had weekends when we had nothing. There was like just tours, there you know, tours of our building. There were no, there were no weddings, and um, that 
isn't the case so much anymore, which is great, but um, we slow down enough where I'm not, I don't get a lot, I don't get nearly as many hours, so the winter time tends to be my YouTube project time, that's when I like try to do my most creative content, so hopefully I can entertain you guys with some fun and exciting stuff other than my amazing daily blog, which bores you guys to death, I know. Oh my gosh, car. My car was like, will you break? See, it's snowing and it's freaking out the camera, so it thinks that there's like things there that aren't there. Ooh, it's like ghosts. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. All right, guys. Well, I love you and I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe. I hope you guys aren't having to drive in the white fluffy stuff like I am today, which is why I'm not really looking at the camera and I'm paying attention to the road. So you guys have a great day. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.